I am still dragging you through amnesia. I hope you love it as much as I do. You know I do. No, I don't. I fucking hate it. Hello, this is the Snorky <laughs> Raccoon here with Coffee Holic, and today we are being dragged through more amnesia, the dark descent. <laughs> Where's the water pot? I hate my life. Hey, Coffee Holic's left too. He's making me do this. Well. <laughs> I'm not I'm not making you do this, it's just that I threw the key away to the door. Yeah, and I'd really like a back face. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we're in the water. Interesting. Yeah, you start in the water, so as soon as you move, it's gonna come right after you. So you have to make a beeline for one of the boxes immediately. You also had to do that yesterday, but you may have been too tired to realize. Maybe. Ooh god, the frame rate is still being dipped now, that's interesting. I may fix that. I know it happened for the last two episodes and I wasn't really paying attention because it was so minor when it happened. But if it keeps up, I'm going to change it. Ooh, there it is. My finger was in the wrong place. That could have been bad. Okay, so what I need to do in... Where is the monster? Is it over there? Uh, in the... It's in the water. <laughs> but where in the water? Okay, if you gonna... jump in, you'll find out. Okay, there it is. It's right there. Yeah. And nearest box is you, buddy. Your head game ain't gonna work on me. <laughs> you thought you had me. Who the hell do you think I am? Oh God, I'm going that way. Eh? Now you're gonna make noises at me, eh? I make fucking noises. Cause you're fucking badass, yeah. I am Daniel. You can't even handle this. You can't handle this, bitch. You can't even understand it. Okay, now it's on the timer. Oh fuck. I'm just gonna keep running until I see something. Well, that's a sound plan. Oh god, yes. Oh, it fell on the monster too. Oh, this is another monster. Is this place just filled with, with monsters? Maybe. Okay, don't worry, we have a human torso. We're safe. We're safe. Fucking safe. This game's a little dark right now. Well, it is the dark descent. Oh wait, I don't have my lantern out. That's what it is. Okay, we'll take this human limb with us. Did you get through the gate? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Why does it have human limbs? Uh, that's, um, your friend and neighbor, Oscar. Or ah. Ross. Oscar. So this is what happened to Oscar Restore. Lovely. <laughs> it wasn't a dark oh. <laughs> <laughs> It turned into one and you know it. Okay, so uh, he's yeah. there. And he smells Oscar's... Leg? Arm? <laughs> leg. It smells Oscar's leg. Go eat the nummy leg. Go on. Oh god, he's fucking stuck. Look at this genius over here. Fucking stuck. <laughs> Most people are really afraid of the water monster, aren't they? But I'm just sitting here fucking tormenting it, well, basically. Most people don't know what it looks like. And you do. I think the fact that you know it's a blue bouncing ball doesn't help matters. Run, 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 run! Haha! -ha. Eat that. Good boy. Fucking hell, I have to go into the water, press that in a circular motion, don't I? And well, you thought I was bad at puzzles. <laughs> it's not the puzzles you're at yet, this is just warming up. Eat the human corpse, come on. Start numbing it. That way I can go over here. Uh, 
I think you can get in there. You crouch. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> it's open though. You, you, you have some lore on them, you can heal. Okay, how much health do I have? A few cuts and bruises, I'm gonna heal on the way there. All is good, and all is well. Here in the raccoon's playhouse. <laughs> You're standing there with a limb in your hand, all is good, all is well. <laughs> Hell yeah, all is good, all is well, bitch. Yeah, also, you don't have to close the door, they can break through. I know, but I was going to slow them down by a few seconds. It's locked, with a simple lock. Do I need to pick the fucking lock? Oh god, I'm a lot of human flesh yeah. and it's coming after me. Well, if you take a look around in here, there may be... If it's a simple lock, would there be a key? Is there a needle over there? It's an item. It's a needle, that's what that is. Oh, fuck, I'm out of oil. Or is it the most critical moment you run out of oil? Good thing I have a little bit more. Uh, because you keep spending it needlessly. Oh god, it was a fucking hollow needle. Am I a fucking genius or what? That needle is completely hollow. It has no more humanity. How fun. Am I great at this game or what? Okay. Um, so what happens when I go from here? Safety? That's a fucking lie, don't dummy lies. Uh, safety from the water monster, that's more specific. Happy? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's assuming I'm gonna have to do something here though. Because the I, I don't imagine this is gonna have no water beyond it. Lied to me, I know it. <laughs> fucking lied to me. Is this is the part where you have to run from the water monster. I hear that's a fucking bitch. Why am I cursing so much? Uh, I think it's because I'm antsy. Uh, it's a different part you're thinking of, and that's not until way later into, into the game. Also, I'm gonna mute my microphone as I pour some coffee. There's no reason for the viewers to hear that. Okay, but it's delicious sounding. Oh wait. I don't want to go through this alone, not yet. I agree that it is delicious sounding, but it made the track from the scariness of the game. <laughs> not that I'm helping. <laughs> no, this is the fucking part. Fucking liar. Only on Tuesdays. Is that guy? You can't trust him. Also, it's... well, I'm thinking of a different path. Something similar happens later. Spoiler alert? Spoiler alert. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm so very, very sorry. Oh god, I'm... ow! Oh, fucking hell, that was easy. Yeah, you pick the correct route. If you don't, you're gonna get numb now. There's an incorrect route? Uh, well, you can go right and left in several places, and if you go the wrong way... Uh, Didn't I just go left to victory? Better? I thought. <laughs> Isn't that well. just how you, that's how you solve a maze? You just go left. That's what I did, right? Didn't I? Did I go right at any point? I'm not sure, to be honest. Also, you are in one of the here pleasant areas of the game. Take it in. This place is pretty. Except for that, that's not pretty. What the fuck is that? Oh, there are legs coming out. Uh, that's um, Those are wings. Art. It's an angel. It's art. Doctor Who shit right here. Oh uh, god. Uh... <laughs> Fucking god, look at that. It's a, yeah? it's a centipede. And it's vomiting onto that angel. Uh, onto the human legs. All the, all the, those There's human legs. wings over here, so it's an angel. Uh, not really. Not necessarily. It could also just be symbolism. 
Yeah, but look at the wings, see? Yeah. They're torn off. Spinning, yeah. So, someone killed an angel is what you're saying? Possibly. Oh. Daniel, you bastard. Daniel. Are you killing people needlessly again? I thought we talked about that. You only <laughs> allowed to kill on Tuesdays. There's a reason the shadow's after you, and it's because you keep stabbing things. Daniel, if you really have a problem, please stop. This just feels like a much different tone from yesterday. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. Fucking hang the other direction. <laughs> and you're gonna stay there until the end of your life? It's broke. I'm hoping it's jammed. It isn't. No, no. I'm fucked. Okay. Uh, you gotta, f you gotta fix it. I guess as much. They always want me to fix things in these types of games. Well, yeah. I mean, you couldn't get through the uh, fleshy bit, so you had to make acid, and now you can't go down the elevator, so you have to fix it. I would make a pun about being the combat janitor right now, but really, there's no there's combat. There's no combat. <laughs> Machine room. Let's check out the other side first. Maybe there's something over there. Yeah. This will take care of the vertical part of our journey. The same can be accomplished if you throw someone off a cliff. How lovely. What's over here? Storage. That sounds, that sounds very scary. Do I want to be in storage? Really? <laughs> well, if you put it that way, it's scary. <laughs> can, I go, can I even go in here? I don't want to click it in case I do. Click it. You can always turn around. If I can go in. What the fuck's in here? Well, it's a storage, so what do you think? Uh, I'm assuming body parts. Why would you store body parts? And don't say something like for later use or for eating. Woo! Lovely music on the way. This sounds creepy. But this isn't the way I need to go yet. I know that. I should go to that machine uh, right there. <laughs> Correction, you don't want to go there. <laughs> Well, it doesn't directly help me get that elevator working. The machine room's that way. Unless the machine room's locked, I'm supposed to go down there to find some type of key. <laughs> That's what also upstairs. Do? We could take a look at upstairs. <laughs> no, upstairs. That's what we have upstairs. We've got guest room. What type of guests? We have study. Um. If we take a look at the wine cellar, it's the dead kind of guests. Oh, that type of guest. Oh, goody. We got over here. Machine room. It's locked. Oh, fucking hell, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you always do this to me. Always. <laughs> you thought you could skip this area? Or how cute. Come on, I can fucking knock that door down. That, that door back there opened inward. Uh. Do you know how remember easy it is that to knock down a fucking door? Let it open inward. I have little to. Oh, fucking hell. It opens inward. Kick it right there. Right there. The <laughs> fucking door. Yeah, but then it respects the architecture. It is a metal door. How thick do you think that wall is? Uh, a ah, feet maybe? Okay. A foot? Uh, that's called a foot. One foot, two feet, yeah. For a lie. How do you even English? I don't know, they never taught us. Uh. 
opens. I hope I don't get my face eaten off. I'd like that. You know, not getting my face eaten off. I really like having a face. It's probably one of my... Well, really, I have more attachment to it than I do most things, to be honest. It's a big room. Fucking hell, it's bigger than my house. This is a guest room, you say? My journal is gone. Bigger than my fucking guest? Oh, this is bigger than my house. This is a guest room. Uh, you are in a mansion. Please remember that. Oh, look, a bunny! We call that guy Snorkel. It was just a cruel joke before we drowned him. Exactly. Note in the box. <laughs> this uh, closet Note has been used so much more efficiently. It has two shirts. But they're full of <laughs> hooks. Yeah, but the first Crowbar. closet you open. Is, yeah. It's in the box. If this it's game was Half Life, them. you could now fend off the enemies. Oh, that's, that's where one of the shirts went. Wine bottle. This must have been Daniel's room. <laughs> 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. More interesting, more plot development. Yep. Chair. Taking this rabbit with me for a little while. If I can use it, I don't know, strike down a monster. <laughs> Stay there. Also, that was a very good Could guess when he said, This must be Daniel's room, but then he found a piece of his diary. That's, that was a very good guess. Thank you. Things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Well, fuck. Yeah, it was really obvious because everything's messed up and there's lots of wine bottles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and not uh, to mention cockroaches. Yeah, those are Daniel's best friends. It's, the, it's all he has left. Yeah, no, after the divorce. I don't think he ever got married. Most people wouldn't marry an eccentric archaeologist. Most people wouldn't marry a man with such a drinking problem, correction. <laughs> but they didn't but that's know the eccentric he had a drinking part. problem. <laughs> eccentric with an asterisk and the fine princess. Oh, you threw it away. Where? Where the fuck did I throw away. my bunny? I want my fucking bunny. <laughs> Where is my fucking bunny? God. Go oh, there he is. Found him. Mr. Snorkel. 
No, but I can't take him being. No, no, this is not. Oh, broken lock. Oh, but we have a crowbar. You are so clever. The key. Please let it be here. Oh, good luck. Okay, this another well used closet. you have your lantern on? You're wasting oil. There's something out there. Oh, well done. You can open it slightly. You can open it slightly to take a look. I'm not going to do that. I can hear it. But it's right out there. Aren't you curious? Nope. If I'm going to die, I'm going to do it with my eyes shut. <laughs> I can still hear him. Yeah. Look at that, was it leaving? The question is, do you think he's gone completely? For now. This is a small fucking room. And there's no door anymore. I really liked that door well, too. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, did not expect that to work. Oh, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Hey, remember those physics? You can smash bottles? Guess what you got to do? Huh. Who would have unk it? Oh, there's a machine room key. Fourth of July. Not key, a uh, machine room entry. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together. And without fault, I joined them. Producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Well, fuck. That orb sounds rather impressive. This is the picture. It's too strange. Too strange. Uh, that is, um... It looks religious. It looks sort of religion. Ah, well. See, that is the pilgrim to orb country, where you can get your very own mysterious orb that'll ruin your life. Ah, I see. Quite a journey. Nothing else around here? Nope. Well then, I shan't dilly dally. The monster's out there, so... But, uh, yeah, but now you know up. where Daniel was living. Yeah, seems rather obvious now. And no surprise, there was wine. Lots of it. And blood. <laughs> no, no, that's just wine. And a candlestick. Oh wait, that's just oh no, that is kind of stick. Back to the hall. I'm sure there's something out here now. There's gotta be something out here. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. I see nothing. Nothing at all. God damn it, Daniel, be more Ah yes. I feel at home. <laughs> Here I am truly safe because the monsters can't fly. Perched on top of a bird? 
Yeah. I'm the tallest thing in this place. Oh yeah. Ouch. Did not expect to get hurt. Daniel apparently has paper legs. I'll be fine. Unless the monster shows up, then I'm making a mad dash for my menu. <laughs> Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. Fucking As it freaky. happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Okay, nothing else so far. So, Daniel was concerned about his masculinity. <laughs> well, it does seem like a type of guy. Guess what he lost all of? <laughs> uh -huh. So, this part here, it's got a whole bunch of things to, I'm assuming. You have his machine room key, right? Yeah. We've already been recording for almost 30 minutes. Should we end it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so then we'll save the machine room for next time. And you know what that means, lovely viewers? Well, it's been great, it's been fun, but until next time, this has been the Snarky Raccoon, here with Coffee Holic, and have a pleasant day. <laughs>